Hello, welcome to a, another special episode of Joe Sent Me, filmed right here for YouTube, and I am your host today. I'm super excited to bring to you a collection of perfumes from Boyce 1920. I've spoken to, to you before about Boyce on Instagram, and today I am going to just sort of take you through various collections that they have, and we're just going to have a look and see some of the newer and older stuff that's out there and let's get cracking we're going to start with this first one here this one is called insieme from voice and i'm going to crack this open and see what this is all about i have not smelled this one in fact the majority of these i have not smelled so i'm excited to finally get my hands and nose on voice 1920 which is by the way a house based out of Italy and uh, big fan of this house. I do have a lot of their perfumes already in my collection and love how this is uh, really interesting how that looks. The cap has this sort of like this fresh like wood look to it as well. So this is in CMA right there. And I believe this one was done by uh, Chris, Christian Carbonell or Chris Maurice. And let's have a look at this one real quick. Nice, very easy to wear, fresh. This is uh, considered a floral fruity gourmand, but there's other aspects to this perfume. So first of all, there's mandarin orange, ginger, strawberry, raspberry, uh, there's uh, aquatic notes, sea notes, uh, jasmine, uh, vanilla, musk, and amber. So think of this as like a fruity floral aquatic with a nice vanilla undertone. Mm, this is called Insieme. Insieme. I like that a lot. Very easy to wear. I can see this being spring, summer, almost versatile for any any application you want so very impressed so far with that one let's go on to the next one this next one is called dolce di giorno well let's not drop it dolce dolce di giorno now let's crack this open same packaging same looking box you have that black box that pulls right up Now, Dolce de Giorno, I believe, is from their art collection. You can see the, the label on the back here. So you can see that. And I believe this one is from their art collection. If I look it up real quick, it is the limited art collection. There it is. Dolce de Giorno. I don't have the perfumer here listed. This is going to be nice. Nice. Okay, let's talk about this one. So, first of all, we have cinnamon, pepper, bergamot, grapefruit, and we have plum, cardamom, cypriol oil, thyme, cedar, gayak, vanilla, vetiver, cashmere, labdanum, and patchouli. Mm, this is very nice. This this actually came out in 10 years ago. That's crazy. This thing came out 10 years ago. And it's still relevant today. It's still relevant today. It came out in 2013. It is a... Uh, you know, what's interesting is so Enzo Gallardi, back before, you know, when he had this house... Uh, this is before they transitioned to whoever has it now. Enzo Gallardi was uh, the owner of Boyce 1920, then the, per the perfumer, the in-house perfumer for it too. So uh, the concept of this one is that it evoked the legacy of the Gallardi family to pay homage to the loyal customers of the Boyce 1920 brand. So each of the limited art collection was produced in a small run and only 1920 of each of these perfumes were made hence boys 1920 so that's one of them how about that okay 
What else do we got? Oh, let's take a look at something new. These next two came out in 2022, just last year. This is a brand new, look at this, look how pretty this is. This is from their Prestige collection. This looks like a smaller bottle. Can't possibly be a, yeah, I was like, can't possibly be a, um, hmm, so interesting. This is 50 ml. Can't be a fifth. It can't be a hundred ml. But look how pretty that is. Look how pretty that is. This is now. It's got the metal, heavy metal. It's a Mac cap that has the Boyce 1920 on there. And this one's called Ribus. Ribus. And it's like a black bottle that's painted with blue. So it's blue and black. Very very nice. And this one was done also. Oh, and this is an X-ray. This one is an X-ray. This one was also done by Christian Provenzano. Just kidding. Christian Carbonell, Chris Maurice. Chris Maurice and Christian Carbonell are the same person. But I just goofed and I said Provenzano. So forgive me. Oh my gosh, this is a beast. Oh, this is so good. Top notes of lemon, galbanum, bergamot, orris. We have agarwood. This oud is definitely in there. Violet, lavender, oud again, sandalwood, musk, and amber. This is not for the faint of heart. If you are looking for something extremely exotic and very special, very unique, Leave it to Chris Maurice Carbonell to do something like this. This is fantastic. This is beast mode. This is beast mode. It's not for everybody. I'm just going to warn you. This is going to knock you out. It is a beast mode of a perfume. I'm just trying to see if there's any other notes here. Of course, there's more. There's a Sacro a Profano, which I don't have that one. And there is also uh, Fonden Tarancho, Tarancho. Don't have that one. And then there's Duro Cafe, which I do have. So we're going to pull that one out. Another 50 ml. Hence the name uh, Duro Cafe. Something tells me this is going to be a coffee-based perfume. Also, again, from the same collection. The Prestige collection looks really good. And now you can tell just even by the box with all the gold foil, Wrapped around there, you can tell this is something really special. This one's got the brown, brown and black bottle. It says Duro Cafe. You know this is going to be a coffee perfume. Come on, folks. This one is another Christian. This was done by another Christian. But this one is... Christian Calabro. Okay, here we go. Wow. Wow. Oh. If you like coffee, folks, I knew it. Duro, when you see the word Duro, that means it's strong. Like, I think Duro means strong. Like a strong coffee. This is unbelievable. Dang, this is rich. This is very rich. This is one of the heaviest coffee perfumes next to the Mon Mon Man Montel. Montel. I have a Montel back there. The Ristrezzo Intense Cafe. This is on that level. On that level. So we got coffee, sugar, dark chocolate, vanilla, Damascus rose, basements of patchouli and amber. Dang, this is crazy good. Crazy good. Wow. Crazy good. I am impressed. I am impressed. All right. And let's look at a completely different look of uh, 
of boys. And then I want to show you uh, the last thing and then we'll be done. So I am trying to complete my elite collection. I have elite number three. I don't have two and I don't have four yet, but I now have elite number one. Elite is their like also like their top of the line, very high end in a completely different look, completely different look. Like if you see Boyce 1920, you're, they're known for this sort of cylindrical thing with the wooden caps or the metal cap now, or this, which is completely different than anything they've ever done in their series. Their Elite, well, that just fell. Their Elite series has like this very big square base, has the Boyce 1920 etched in the glass. You have this nice, big, beautiful heavy duty cap. This series I discovered at Essence, like in 2018 or 19, and I was just blown away, blown away. And they also came to Scent Explorer for the first year. And I remembered just how much I love this. So this is a aquatic floral, I think is the best way to describe this. But ultra classy aquatic floral. Ultra classy. So this one features the notes, uh, C notes, uh, mandarin orange, lemon, uh, tuberose, gardenia, lily, musk, sandalwood, vanilla, and tonka bean. It is fantastic. This is a reason why this is called the Elite Series, because this takes it up to the a whole nother level. It's very sophisticated, very high quality, doesn't smell cheap, doesn't feel cheap, doesn't look cheap. It's because it's so nice. It's so well done. And it's, it's a very, very cool presentation. Speaking of cool presentations, have you seen this before? Look at this. This is the entire Oro collection in a box set. Oro collection in a box set. How about that? That's fantastic. Now I am going to go through some of these because I don't think I've, I don't think I have, maybe I have or I haven't. The majority of these I have not tried. So let's just do it. First of all, these are so adorable in their small sizes like this. Look at that metal cap. Really cool. And I think, I don't know, let me take a look at how many ml are these? 18 ml wow 18 ml these are perfect for travel perfect for travel so this is the oro collection oro collection so let's just begin so this one is gotta be oro 1920 duh let's have a look oro 1920 let's do this because i don't i don't think i've ever done this oro means gold by the way this is a gold collection. Love this display. I love that. Oh, man, this is fantastic. And my notes are here, so I don't even have to look at my cheat sheet here. I have raspberry, ginger, incense, fir, may rose, absolute, iris, guyac, wood, benzoin, leather, Vanilla, beeswax, and tobacco. This is so unique. It's definitely a heavy-duty perfume. It's definitely a statement fragrance for sure. You cannot go wrong with something like this. And then Oro Nero, which is basically black gold. Black gold. Again, in the little 18 ml travel spray. I love that. Pressurized atomizer. Really nice. Mm, this one features saffron, bergamot, orange, cloves, patchouli, sandalwood, cedarwood, ylang-ylang, leather, amber, and vanilla. It's very dark, leather, saffron. Of course, you expect that. Almost smoky, dark, woody, spicy leather. Super nice. 
Oro Rosso. I think I have this one, but let's just go over it anyway. I think I do have this one. This one, I think some people have compared this to a BR540. I could be wrong. Let's see. Blood orange, citrus, jasmine, lavender, sage, saffron, musk, oak, and oak wood. Yes, this one has been compared to BR540. That's okay because it's not that. It's not a clone. It wasn't meant to be a clone. And yes, just because it's in red doesn't mean it has to be BR540. But it is in that similar DNA. Let's just say that. Next one, Oro Bianco, which is white gold. Something tells me this might be like a white floral. Who knows? Love the atomizer again. Lovely lemon, ginger, pink pepper, Damascus rose, peony, lang lang. I knew it. Vanilla, sandalwood, cedarwood, gayak and precious woods lovely white floral it's sweet it's sexy it's decadent very nice that is just what i thought it was going to be based on that last one oro rosa which is pink gold or rose gold better yet something tells me this will be a rose based perfume let's see if i'm right it sure is, and I love it. Fantastic. Holy cow. Blood orange, citrus, jasmine, lavender, sage, saffron, woody notes, musk, oak, and wood. No, wait. Uh, Oro Rosa is incorrect on here. There's Oro Rosso and Oro Rosa, but the paper here is incorrect. I just read off the paper. I'm going to use my trusty thing here and get the oro rosa oro rosa rosa there's rosso and rosa this is definitely a musky rose all right here's the correct notes this was also done by chris maurice carbonell this is Melon, pear, orange, apple, middle notes are rose, lychee, heliotrope, jasmine, musk, and vanilla. This is definitely a musky, floral, fruity floral that's very heavy. It's something that's extremely similar to other things that he's done that's a musky floral. But it is still fantastic and I love it. It's just, he does such a fantastic job with this. So that's all I have for you. That was Boyce 1920. I just took you on a journey through many of their collections. And uh, I'm sure you have favorites all over the place. Love to hear in the comments below which ones are your favorites. Or from the discovery that you just saw in this video. Did you see something you like? I know I did. These two are ridiculously good. These are like two big statement ones. I absolutely want the rest of those. That was a fantastic thing. And of course, I want the rest of these. Number two and four is calling my name. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.